So welcome back to real time chat series and if you want to have a great project listed in your resume then this is the great project. So in this episode we are going to set the system for the typing that means if I type somewhere the other user will get the typing that Sarthak is typing and obviously the time of sending the message and much more. So with that, I'm your host Sarthak. This is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's see. Firstly, just change the layout because it's too narrow. So I will go here and I will say here offset of small as one and call of small as 10 okay let's see how it's look like uh, yeah much better so I'll say hey yeah it's good okay so we need to have the typing system so if I type there has to be written somewhere it's typing okay so so if I go here and you will go to here client events you can see channel dot whisper typing so here we have to grab this so I will grab it and go to our app.js and whenever there is a change in this text box we have to make that typing system work so here there is a method called watch and in the watch I have to use message function and that function will have this thing obviously this is a private and this is a chat and whisper is typing and here we have to say we will provide message so if the message is having then say typing otherwise nothing okay so we have to go here so let's see is that no there is some problem we have to include the comma here reload and yeah build successful let's go to here refresh open console and let's type something here and let's see what we have so it's having some error because for using the events of a user we need to enable that system so now I have to go to pusher.com and let's just maximize it for now so here we have and go to app setting here you can see it says enable client event and now update that's nice now come back to this position go here reload and you can see I'm typing and nothing is having here on the console no error that means if I go to debug console and it start typing here let's reload this one also okay clear this pusher start typing you can see whenever I type there is a kind of event here okay so whatever I type it's here so in that case we have to check for this and update some prop on the view so we will see how we can do that let's go to broadcast documentation one more and now this is the listen part so let's go to here and in the mount part where is that yeah here's mounted we have to define that thing so that is called listen dot whisper so we didn't don't need to provide this channel once more because we already have that channel okay so that's okay then listen for whisper typing then e and e means whatever we are typing so let's reload here and it says some of the error yeah there is some kind of error because I don't have to end that because we have another system okay no error and now see the console I am typing here it's not having here but it will be here so go back refresh yeah you can see it's here and everything what I'm typing here it's displaying okay so that's good and now we have to check whether it have some message or not so here I will check if 
e dot name have some value so I will say if not having empty then we will let's console log typing so typing otherwise else console dot log nothing okay so that's good go back reload here reload here type something you can see it says typing and if I don't type anything yeah it's stop here okay so that's it so let's just create one more variable or the data you will say I will say typing which is empty and now if we have so here we will say this dot typing is equal to typing one two three dots just for fun and this dot typing is equal to zero is equal to nothing that means if we have some message then say typing if not empty out the typing variable okay so we just have to give this so here let's create a batch and that batch let's say after here and I will say div having a class of batch and that batch will be let's say pill and at typing okay so let's go reload here reload here type here something hello but it's not giving here it's working that particular yeah it's having something here but we have to actually give batch let's say primary okay so reload here one more you reload here one more and type here so it says typing but if I delete anything okay delete everything then gone here I, if I say something it says typing if I delete that typing is also deleted okay so typing system is done and now the time to have the message timing part okay so firstly we have to set a method which will get the time so after this send method I will create a new method called get time and this will have let's say let time is equal to new date okay and after this let's just return what we are going to return time dot get hours okay then plus then colon I have to say time dot get minutes okay so we are returning this and we have to say plus here also okay save it and let's call that function whenever we are sending message so again one more array called time for every message so I have to say here chat dot time dot push is equal to this dot get time get time okay so we are calling that message we are calling that method so let's go and reload reload here also and let's type anything hit enter open view part go to root and the time we are getting is 1233 which is the current time for me okay let's give that time for every message okay so same thing okay whenever we are receiving that message we have to say exactly the same thing okay so time is good okay same we have to provide the time so that should be time okay open message dot view one more prop called time okay and as we have decided we have to give the time somewhere in the message 
let's again give a, a small tag and here I will say time simple okay reload both places I will say how are you and yeah it says it has the time but it's not looking cool it's something weird okay so let's do something with this so give this a small tag an ID of time and instead of this small I will use that as a span and let's just create a style for that time so hash time and now this will have obviously font size of let's say 8 pixel okay go reload and also give the time yeah it's okay but we have to define this just below okay so for this I will use margin top as 10 pixel and let's give it a color of black okay so reload here also message and yeah it's good but I think it's too small <laughs> so make this as work for me obviously these are the design part you can do all these things great I think I like this so if you have any doubt in this episode feel free to message me and if you have learned something from Bitfumes and you want to support Bitfumes then you can become my patreon and donate one dollar or more on the patreon.com and don't forget to subscribe like Bitfumes on Facebook Twitter and Instagram so we will meet in the next episode to give the leaving and joining system for this chat room and defining the notification who is joined or who is leaved this channel so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye